Are you ready? I'm so fucking ready from some new Hourglass Cosmetics, guys. Today's video, we're going to be testing new makeup releases. What the fuck is up, my bridges? I see you all coming in the live chat. What's good? What's popping? I'm, I mean, you guys know I'm such an hourglass bitch. And when they launch something new, I have to have it. And <laughs> hourglass did me dirty this time around, but I'm going to actually cover another product first. And then later we'll get into the hourglass holiday collection. So I did pick up both palettes, the big palette and the mini. We'll get into the details. I didn't pick up the lip products just because I didn't feel like it. I feel like Hourglass for me, their powder products really excel. So anytime they drop a new powder product, I'm like, I gotta have it. So I wanted to first start out with the new Il Maquillage Enrico Nasty collection because <laughs> this collection is such a vibe for me. I love the whole aesthetic of this. This to me is just... It's such a vibe. I have no idea who Rico Nasty is. I'm pretty sure she's a singer, singer, artist. I don't know. I've never heard of this person. This collection itself. I'm just like, the palettes look so beautiful. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just buy all of it because I've never tried El Maquillage before. So I was like, you know what? We're going to try it all today. We'll see how we think of it or what we think of it, how we think of it. That doesn't even make sense. We'll see what we think of it. I'll let you guys know my thoughts and opinions. These are going to be first impressions. First impressions. Haven't touched these. I literally took it out of the box and that's it. I was debating. I was debating keeping this or sending it back without using it. But I was like, you know what? The packaging is what got me on this because it's, ju it's just a vibe. Like, look how cute this packaging is. So there's two pressed pigment palettes. There's eyeliners and a brush. I just got it all because why not? Is anybody still excited about this collection? Because I feel like when I talked about this in my like uh, my new makeup release video or my Will I Buy It, people were really into this. Uh, it's just the packaging, the lime green, the font, the skull. This kind of gives me like Melt Cosmetics vibes, but I think that this packaging is so much better and I'll get into that in a minute. So those are the two palettes. I got a little card in here. Hey, nasty girls. <laughs> I love that. I'm putting you to my, oh, I'm putting you on my first ever makeup collection with El Maquillage. I designed it to feel hella luxe for you. Sleek on the outside, motherfucking party on the inside. I feel like me and Rico Nasty need to be friends. This collection is straight up eye candy, so do whatever you want with it. No rules from getting money to getting lit. Neon rage, AFD, I don't know what that means. So this is a little message from Rico Nasty. Super cute. And then there's also two liners. There's a black and a white liner and then a brush as well. It's just so cute. I love it. So I'm going to try both the palettes today. I'm starting to see the palettes being talked about a little bit more. I know that I've seen Kathleen Lights. She had the bigger palette in her thumbnail, but I haven't watched any videos because I want to be surprised for myself. So we're going to have a swatch party. We're just going to chit chat. Get ready with me first impressions, you guys get it. You've seen these videos for me 8 million times at this point. So first off packaging, this reminds me of like the Nabla packaging because it is like a plastic, but it's, it's like a stiff plastic. It's really nice. This would be the plastic. Actually, it just did it. This will be the plastic that can give you like a cut because it's, it's sharp. So packaging, this is going to be the more neutral palette. Look at this fucking packaging. And it's heavy. Like, this is weighted. You got all of these shadows on the back. It's made in Italy. Italy? Oh, shit. Okay. I'm with it. You got 12 shades in here. 12 months shelf life. That's pretty much all that it says on here. Does the box... Oh, this does say it. Let me see. Let me read this really quick. It's got all the ingredients on the back. I was trying to see if these are all pressed pigments. It doesn't specify, but it does say all of the ingredients on the back. I wish that brands would start putting all the ingredients on the packaging itself because not everybody keeps a box. It's not a problem for me because I keep my boxes. But if you're an ingredients ass bitch, it's on the box. But this packaging, this is like, it's heavy, it's super shiny, and it's, it's weighted. Like this is a nice packaging and that's the inside of the palette. Is anybody surprised that I have a neutral palette in my hands right now? I can't wait to swatch though 
these two purple shades and that green, or it's like a, a teal. It's not a green. It's more of like a blue. Blue, green, we'll call it a teal. But these two purples, like the metallics look so nice. So this is package number one. I really like this. Like, I like the flip up. And I usually don't like, like, the wasted space here. But I just think it makes it look more bougie. Like, she looked real bougie. I'm into it. So that's the first palette. And then the second palette, actually, let me tell you how much the collection itself actually is let me pull over my screen and i'll show you guys the collection like look at this just this site is everything i this is just my vibe this is me in a website launch like i just love it i love the bright colors it's just so me so this entire collection was 100 bucks you could buy the palettes by themselves you can buy like a palette with a brush you can do a bunch of different things so the whole thing itself was 100 bucks you can buy two of the palettes or the two palettes for 77 the Mad Rich, what was it? Mad Rich, that's the uh, this original palette. I'm gonna, the original palette. The Neutral Palette and the Dual Sided Eyeshadow Brush, which I'll show you guys in a minute, that's $63. I don't think these prices are honestly that bad. When you first see it for a brand that I've never shot before, I'm kind of like, I'm like, you know what? I wanna give them a shot. So this palette by itself, the Neutral Palette is $52 retail. And then the smaller palette is going to be $38, you get six shades in here, or you can get this smaller palette with the eyeshadow brush for $51. And then you've got little packages with the brush by itself is $22. The long wear eye pencil is $18. There's a black and white shade. That's the lump summary. Oh, the shit. <laughs> Those are already out of stock. Oh, damn. Is anything else out of stock? I don't think anything else is. Yeah, only the eyeliners by themselves are out of stock right now. So that's the El Maquillage website in case you guys were wondering. But let's get back to what this little palette looks like because this is the one i'm just like oh bitch it looks so cute so i love the silver packaging same type of packaging still super heavy super it's just super super heavy super weighted shiny goodness look at that look at that i can't wait to touch these i cannot wait what do we think of this like are you guys as into the packaging as i am because i'm so here for it this one's also made in Italy. You got six times 1.1 gram, 12 month shelf life, made in Italy. Same, basically the same information as the other one. This one's also a pressed pigment palette as well. All the ingredients are on the box. You get the point. So I'm like, I, I gotta, I gotta use them. They're so pretty. I'm going to use both of them. I'm going to use them both. I really like though, how the kind of more not a lot of people would say these are wearable shades. I am not that person, but I like the fact that they split them up into, like, if you don't want the crazy shades, you still have a super wearable, like, everyday type of palette. I love that. And then I love the fact that they could easily pair together as well. I am so impressed that, like, the packaging is so impressive. Like, how heavy weighted. Like, this feels to me like it would be, like, a luxury packaging with how heavy it is. It's really, really nice. So... Shall we swatch, guys? Swatch, 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 swatch! <laughs> You're picking up what I'm putting down. Okay, let's start with... We'll start with the neutral palette. What is the exact name of this? I don't like... Oh, it is. The Lo-Fi palette, right? Neon Rage. I feel like that's not the name. Is that the name? Hold on. Let me check the website again really quick. Lo-Fi is this one. The, that says Rave Queen, but it says Neon Rage. Oh, no. Rave Queen is the bundle. I'm looking at the wrong one. Guys, sorry. So, Lo-Fi is the neutral palette. <laughs> one of these days, I'll have my life together. Let's get into some swatches. Swatch, 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 swatch. I'll probably only swatch the more metallic-looking shades because I feel like swatching mattes is never fun. But who knows? When in Rome... Okay, so this is the first shade. This is going to be... It's like a silver. Silver grayish tone. She cute. I was trying not to go in too heavily. They're very smooth. They got a little bit of shine. I wouldn't say they're like makeup geek shine, but she's not bad. I think that would be a really pretty inner corner. This one I'm so excited about because this is a gold. Oh, that gold looks so nice. Oh, yeah. Yes, bitch. I am seeing like, you see how it looks a little bit textured? I usually like when my metallics are a little bit more 
like it feels super smooth. I think you just have to kind of run your finger over these ones a little bit. We're going to keep going. I'm just going like row by row. So I'm still on the top row. This is going to be that teal shade. They're like, I'm trying to think of the formula that these remind me of. This shade looks so pretty. Oh, oh that's a nice shade right there. Actually, the texture, now that I think about it, it kind of does remind me of like a Makeup Geek because it feels almost like, not oily. Oily is not the right word for it, but oh, you see, that shade is beautiful. Oh my girl. We're skipping again. Sorry, guys. It's just, it's YouTube. If you watch it in the playback, it doesn't skip on the playback. I don't know what the hell's going on with YouTube and StreamYard, but that's where we're at. Maybe try closing out the video. That one's not bad. That one doesn't really have the shine. That looks like a satin finish. That one kind of fucked me up a little bit. I was expecting that to be more of a metallic. So these two for me, these top two, these have like a glitter finish to them. That teal shade, it has more of like, it's got like that foiled effect, but I really don't see glitters like I do with these top two. And they're so smooth. Like the formula feels super smooth. I'm just wiping off my fingers on my pants because we're classy. Remember, we're classy in here. Second row, all the way to the left. This is such an interesting formula. I'm very curious to see. It's kind of reminding me of like Natasha Denona, how it has like that cream, that creamy texture to it. Oh my God, imagine if we found a Natasha Denona dupe, but they all feel like that. This is second row, second to the left. Looks more of like a champagne. I feel like we could have done without like having these two and these two, because I mean, they are different. These two look very, very similar to one another though. I feel like we could have done without like one of those at least. But they're, they're definitely not bad. I'm curious to see how these look on the eyes. I forgot to say before we got swatching, keep in mind, swatching normally doesn't tell me shit about an eyeshadow. It's fun to do, and it's aesthetically all bitch. It's aesthetically pleasing to look at, but I don't really judge. That shade's beautiful. I don't usually judge my shadows by how they swatch. It kind of gives me like an indication of how it's going to perform, but sometimes they surprise me. Like when I put them on my eyes, that is so pretty. It's like, oh my God, that is so nice. It's like almost like a dual chrome, but it doesn't really shift. But it's got, it's like a purple pastel base and it's got pink reflex in there. That's beautiful. Whew. Ooh. Okay, so skipping's not as bad today. That's good to know. This shade too looks really, really pretty. Oh. Oh my God, that's like a, it's almost like a metallic, but it's got like a taupey undertone to it. That is, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. I'm so into those right there. And then the bottom row is all mattes. Do we want to swatch the mattes? And sometimes they surprise you in a bad way, like Juicy Boost. See, Danny is picking up what I'm putting down. I was so impressed with the swatches from Juicy Boost. I'll just swatch these really quick for you guys just so you can see what the shades look like. They're just like your basic ass neutral shades. They're nothing exciting. But yeah, this formula, it totally reminds me of like Natasha Denona. Like that cream. It's got like a creamy texture. Even the mattes do. It's so, so reminiscent to Natasha. Wow. I'm like shocked at how, how much, <laughs> how much similarities at least that I feel that they have. This last one, it's got more of like a purpley base that doesn't swatch the best, but I could see that performing a lot better on the eyes. These are going to be the matte shades, and then you have all of these. I would say they're like, some of them are shimmers. I would say like the two teals are more of like a shimmer. This one's more of a shimmer, and then you have like a glitter. These are more like glittery, which I'm all about that life. I think these look beautiful. Like these mattes are my perfect mattes right here. Ah... Steven, you'll have to go back and watch that video. It's it's a collab with Karen Harris. You'll have to watch it because it was a fucking train wreck. It was horrible. So disappointing. Okay, let's move on to the Neon Rage. I can't wait to see what these look like. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This blue. Oh, my gosh. Wait, I got to do this. Hold on. I got to get the full effect here. <laughs> oh 
The shades are so pr Wow. Wow. Damn, Gina. This is makeup porn. This is 100% makeup porn. Oh my God, the texture. Holy shit, guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I can't get over that blue. That blue needs to get all over my face right now. Mm. Let me wipe off my fingies. I got two more to go. I got a hot pink and it looks more of like a, it looks white in the pan, but I think it's going to be more of like a duochrome. I would have been so excited to, if this launched sooner, but I wonder, I'm assuming that something probably got held up in production with, you know, everything going on in the world right now. Oh my God, this hot pink. Wow, that formula is so nice. Hopefully it performs that nice on my eyeballs. I would say this one's going to be more of... Uh, it kind of applies chunky. I don't know if I'll like that one. Because it, it really accentuates the texture. There's really not much going on there. But I'll be curious to see how that reacts with a brush. Wowza. Wowza. What do we think? Which palette do we like more? I mean, obviously this one's going to be more wearable, but adding these like pops of color, like I really want to do a look with this purple and then these purples over here, the blues. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I like stone vibes better, but this is nice. <laughs> stone vibes is definitely like a different vibe. I think as far as you're definitely going to get more of like a sparkly duochrome effect with the stone vibes opposed to this one so oh, how do i want to i really want to post a look on instagram so i i like doing one look for instagram but i feel like with all these shades we got going on i feel like i need to do two eyes so here's what we're gonna do we're just gonna wing it as per usual so i'm gonna dust off my bk201 because I'm still using all my brushes for my BK Beauty collab. I'm first going to take, wait, first thing I'm going to do is tell you guys that, in case you guys aren't following me on the Instagram, the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Bases relaunched today with new shades. And I'm going to use the shade Fair today. If I find my Esum W23, this is my favorite brush to apply this. This is the eye base that I have been loving. I don't really notice any differences between like the, the consistency of the formula is different from the original. Like this one, the new shades are a lot thicker, but I don't know any difference performance wise, at least from the amount of times that I've tried it. It makes my eyes pop. It makes my shadows pop. It blends out really nicely. It dries down to a, I would say like a, it doesn't completely dry down. It has like a slight tack to it, which I like. And I normally set my eyelids. I'm using the shade Fair today. I was using the shade Medium. I actually have the shade Medium on my under eyes right now because this is an eye base and concealer. And these retail for 22 bucks. And then I also have a code. It's an affiliate code. It's in the description box with Gerard Cosmetics. And you get 30% off. 30% off. Gerard Cosmetics Eye Base is also going to be October. Oh, I didn't know that. The October Tri Beauty Box. That's exciting. That's so exciting. I know they've been in the Tri Beauty Box before. That's awesome. Such a good eye base, though. I love it. Definitely the fave. Like, I got the Urban Decay one sent to me. I can't remember the name of it. The Eye Primer Potion, I think. And that was sent to me with that Stone Vibes palette. And I still reach for this one over that. And that one used to be my shit back in the day. What's everybody doing tonight? Anything fun and exciting going on besides watching yours truly? <laughs> yes, that 201 brush is the first brush I grab when it's time to do my makeup. It's so bad. The 201 and the 202. Yes, girl. We love that for you. What's up, Jessica? I, you just added Jessica to your name, didn't you? Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> okay, let me take, what the hell's the name of this thing again? The Lo-Fi Palette. I'm going to go in with the shade first. I'm going to set my lid. I haven't been doing this every time. 
I do my makeup, but since the shade's in here, why not? That's what we're going to do. I caved and picked up the eye canvas base in medium today. Can't wait. I can't wait to see what you think of it. How does it compare to the P. Louise base? I have not tried the P. Louise. I think the P. Louise would be like too light for like a day to day for me. But I know Karen Harris loves, like loves the P. Louise base. I've just never tried it. I think why this one really spoke to me is because of how like they consider it an eye base and concealer because you know a girl loves a multi-purpose product right so that shade i mean it just set the lid it's not going to be anything extraordinary i'm going to use that same brush and take this shade right here it does have the names let's see jet lag i'm pretty sure yes that's what it looks like this one right here just the neutral brown that's what we're going to roll with. So since this is more of like a creamy type of formula, guys, if you like Natasha Denona formula, I would be so curious to see if you have the same thought as me. This reminds me of it so much, even like how it picks up on the brush and how the like powder reacts when you dip your brush in it. It's so reminiscent to Natasha. I mean, this is going to be just like a basic ass, <laughs> basic ass neutral brown. I'm going to try, this is how I need to finesse Natasha's formula. I usually have to stamp, which I do this more often now, but usually with shades like this, I could just go in and just blend like this, but like when Natasha's, I can't, but wow. I mean, very soft, very subtle. It's just a matte brown. <laughs> Nothing particularly fun and exciting about it. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I hope you guys are staying for a while because I have a pretty exciting announcement during this video. Well, it's like kind of an announcement. It's like an announcement for something that's going to be in the future. Maybe. Can we talk about the fact that we're like 50 subscribers away from 10K? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's just a, a fucking basic ass brown, guys. <laughs> I'm not going to be like, oh my God, it's amazing. It's a basic ass brown. You guys get it. <laughs> basic ass bridge squad for real Z's. For real Z's. Okay, let's go in next. I want to take this shade here. I'm going to use the 202 because I want to go in. These purples are speaking to me. I got it. I got to do it. So I'm just going to dip in there. I do feel, find that I have to like really swirl in there because of the consistency of the formula. I have a feeling that dense brushes might work better. But we'll see. I'm just trying to do my makeup how I typically do. Because that's what I like. I like products to be user friendly. I really like this. I really like just feeling it in my hand. I like the fact that you could angle... Can you guys see what I'm doing? You can angle the mirror and then this serves as like a little, like you actually hold on to it. I like it. I'm like, it's the little things that, that get me, I guess. <laughs> oh my God. I still, I'm like so shocked at how much these are reminding me of Natasha. Like how I'm working with these right now is exactly what I have to do for Natasha. It's a little bit more finessing but it's, it doesn't like piss me off. You know what I mean? I'm not going to focus too much on the blend because I do want to take that more like vibrant purple and work that in here as well. I actually might do that right now. And as usual, we're doing like my standard look because it just works. <laughs> oh my God. I am a basic ass. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my, that's so awesome. Been subscribed since the hundreds. <laughs> Thank you so much. 85 watching and 46 thumbs up. Get to clicking that thumb. Guys, it's so simple. Just click the damn thumbs up. Can you please? I'm going to take the 207 and we're, we're jumping over to the, like, do you see how I grab this? I love this. I love, I'm so glad that I kept this because I'm telling you, I was like, do people want to actually see this? Do people care about this? But I haven't seen really that many reviews on it either.
but it is starting to gain a little bit more traction, but it's like the packaging. It's one of those palettes, like the more that I looked at it, the more that I liked it. Just be the fucking packaging. The packaging just slayed it. It slayed the game for me. So this isn't showing up as as pigmented. I feel like these, I feel like these are gonna work better with a finger. You know another formula that these remind me of? ColourPop. The ColourPop, I don't even know if they make them anymore. Do you remember when Kathleen Lights did her like quad? Are they the Super Shock Shadows? Are, are they considered Super Shock Shadows when they come in not metallics? They're always considered that, right? I could be totally wrong. But they're kind of giving me that vibes too. Which makes sense if Kathleen is talking about them in her recent favorites. <laughs> because, I mean, she also loves that formula. So I'm going to jump back over to this palette here. I'm going to take a more dense tool. I'm going to use... This is the Huda Beauty, the Fender Blender. I fucking love this thing. I'm going to take this shade here. Hang on, let me actually wipe it off a little bit. This is, it's basically like, you know those sponge applicators that always come in lesser expensive palettes? Or it's either lesser expensive palettes or <laughs> like Chanel, <laughs> you know? The sponge applicators that people are like, why the fuck do they give us these? It's basically that, but I love this little tool so much because it comes to a point like it makes it so easy to get on my inner corner and then it makes it easy to 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 keep that straighter line because I don't want it to go too high into my crease that shade's so pretty but this is the shade I'm really excited about this purple what the hell's the name of this one twisted I think yes the last one was La La. I kind of wish that the names were on here so I didn't have to keep going back and forth, but that's just something me as a creator and somebody that likes to tell you guys the shades that I use. But if I was just like a normal consumer, I would not, I would not give a fuck about that. Yeah, I feel like this is going to work probably better with a finger. Let's just go in with a finger. Definitely more of a dense formula. Like the more that I'm getting into it, it's get it's getting that like cushiony type of texture to it. That one's a lot more sheer, but that's so pretty. Look at that eye look, guys. I think that's so nice. I'm really having to get in there though. That is a look. That's a look. Let's see. I still use the OG sponge applicators to this day. They really do it for some formulas. For real. I have a silicone version of that brush I use for texture, more pigmented metallics and shimmers. That's what I loved about this. It's got like the sponge and then it also has the silicone. Let me try the silicone with that other purple shade. I usually like the silicone for glitters. But you never know. This might... This might do the damn thing, especially when I want to smooth out the texture. No, I think I like the sponge side better, but it still, it still works. But I think ultimately I'd be more likely to probably just dig in there with my finger, honestly. So that is, you've got this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade. Four shades. Plus the purple from this palette is what we have going on on here right now. Now I need to take my, I didn't leave, I'm still right here. I need a more like precise dense brush because I want to put some on my brow bone. We'll just use this, some random ass Sigma brush. The E62. I don't even know why I got this brush. Actually, I know why I got it because I thought it would be better for a cut crease or something, but I hate, I love the shape of it. I'm using this shade right here. I love the shape of it, but I wish it was so, I wish it wasn't so thick. Like this is a really thick brush and I'm just going to add that on the brow bone. Like she cute. She's not bad, but she's not, she's not my favorite. 
She's not my favorite. I really like the purpleness, though. The purpleness, I'm into it. Some formulas just need... Just need... Sometimes we just need a finger. <laughs> Demonetized immediately. Okay, let me go... I'm going to take that purple from the Neon Rage. This one right here. I'm going to take that on the lower lash line. Now, straight up, this is just off of how I typically apply makeup. Like, do you see how many times I have to keep digging into this formula? I don't usually love that. I don't usually love that because it just, it takes more time that I don't want to be bothered. I don't mind it when I get like a super effortless blend, but I don't feel like I'm getting something that's like mind blowing right now. I think it like it looks really pretty. I think these shades are I think the undertones in them are pretty unique, but I'm not getting like a holy shit, I'm losing my mind over how uh, incredible this eye look right looks right now. But I'm I'm just kind of going by how I feel at this present moment. It could change throughout the video. We shall see. It could change with just the different types of shades that I use. I'm going back in with this shade right here. Let's see. I'm trying to like read what you guys are saying at the same. I feel like the blend looks, yeah, like I think the blend looks really nice. It's just not like the best blend I've ever had. And it's just, it's just something I'm like, I just think I have to finesse a little, just a little bit different than I normally do. I'm still really like enjoying it. Don't don't get me wrong. This could be the game changer part right here. Going in and just giving that extra blend. We'll see if it either breaks it or makes it. Like I think the look looks really nice. I just feel like for me, I'm like, this is taking a little bit longer than I want it to, but I'm not mad at the outcome of it. So I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not mad about it whatsoever. I just want to add a little bit more of that shade. I that one's more of like, it's kind of giving me like a topper vibes and I wish it was just a little bit more pigmented. But still, that look looks really pretty. <laughs> I cannot take that away from it. Okay, let's go on the other eye for now. Oh shit, I forgot to put, hold on, I gotta put my Lumify eye drops in. Let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, <laughs> glad to catch some of the live a little earlier than last time. Yes, girl. I just saw somebody said they think it's a little lackluster. I don't know. I'm not that impressed with these palettes so far. That's where I'm like, hopefully the different shades. Cause I know this is one thing I try not to judge, especially purples too harshly, like right off the bat, because I always have issues with purples. And the fact that I have no patchiness at all with this right now, that's a major plus for me. So I'm not going to I'm not going to judge every shade by purples cuz I feel like purples are some of the hardest eyeshadow shades to formulate. So for a purple that looks like this where I didn't have to go in a million times and keep like adding more product into cuz I usually get really patchy in this area right here and I'm like I think it looks really good right now. I mean, this is just like a crease, but I'm I'm really happy with how this looks. Oh, let's see. <laughs> I love that, Jessica. I love it. Okay, let me go in with, I, I got to use the blues, guys. I have to do it. I'm going to do, I'm like, how do I want to do this? Let me look at these next to each. I kind of want to do blues and greens, but I've been rocking the shit out of some blues and green looks lately. Like, I really want to use these two. And these, in this, let's just wing it. Fuck it. Let's just wing it. I'm going to go in with, I'm going to use a dense brush because that blue got me. That blue got me a little bit when I was first using it. So let me take, hold on. I got to grab, I got to go way over because I want to grab, this is the brush that I'm thinking of. I think I got all, I got all of my BK beauty brushes in this right here. All of my other ones, I should say, because I do have all of them. Nope. It's this one I'm thinking of. It's the 203. I think I'm going to keep this close by because I might need 
I might need some more of those in a minute. So 203, I'm going to take, what the hell's the name of the shade? Oblivion. Do you guys, let me ask you guys this. Give me your feedback. If I tell you, or if I point to the shade that I'm using, do you guys need me to tell you what the shade name is? Oh, wow. That was nice. I'm going to do the same type of look because that's what I do. That's so nice. I love that shade. It's just a nice navy blue, like a true navy blue. I'm like trying to think of if I have any other eyeshadows that look like that. Because I truly don't think I have any navy blue shadows. This is the type of brush that's good. Like, see how fast I was just able to do that? It's You definitely want to use dense brush. That's my That's my feedback for you on that one. I want to take, oh, I got it. I got to do it. I want to take this teal shade from also the neutral palette. I'm just going to do like a gradient because oh, look at those colors. Oh my God. So this is the shade. Okay. I just saw somebody said just point this shade. Boom. Reminds me of Mac Navy. I had, <laughs> I never had really, I don't think I ever had any Mac shadows except for nylon. Because when I finally got into makeup, nobody really cared about MAC anymore. Or it was like, it was like on its way out. Oh, yeah. Guys, this is the type of brush to use. Like a packer style. For sure. So much more pigmentation. See, this is the beauty of, of lives. We figure it out together. <laughs> I'm going to jump over. Oh, those two shades together look so nice. Let's see. That's much better. Yeah, definitely. Like this brush just made a huge difference. I'm going to take the blue in the neon palette. I'm just totally winging this right now. Hope you guys don't mind. But I feel like we're in this train wreck together always. So I'm sure you don't mind. I probably should have put the green. The green would have looked pretty fire, I think. Fun fact, too, this brush, I was between this brush and the 201, but I felt the 201 was more like basic bridge style when I was choosing the brushes for my bundle. But this would be a brush like I would buy the bundle and I would buy, I would buy this brush. And then also the, where is it? I just used it for bronzer like two days ago. I think it's the 207. Where the hell is it? Where are you? It's got to be on the other side. It's right here. 107, not the 207. This is like my favorite bronzer. I'm going to probably use that a little bit today. We'll see. Guys, just check out BK Beauty Brushes. Even if you don't buy my bundle, just check out their fucking brushes because they're bomb.com. Okay. I really want to use this shade because I want to see what it looks like on the eyes. I want to see if it looks any different. Ooh, I don't think this is going to be a good one. Like, it's it's really not even picking up on the brush. And it's, like, dispersing. Oh, fucker. I should have cleaned off the brush a little bit better. Yeah, that's, like, that's a dud shade for me. That's, like, we don't need that. Let me try to go in with this silicone end and kind of rough it up a little bit. Maybe this will be better. I feel like this might be one that you need to use wet because I could see that it has like a duochrome type of effect or like an iridescent or incandescent, I think is the proper word, but it's just, it, it's super chunky. That's just, that ain't it for me, sis. That is, we, we didn't need this in this palette. I'm just going to say it's, it's like super chunky. Yeah, that's not the fave. That shade's not the fave. I'm definitely more into this palette opposed to this one. This one, I think it's like cool because you got like the funky colors and stuff. But I think I would be just fine with the regular or the neutral palette. <laughs> I really need to stop calling it the regular palette. I'm going to try to put that green over that because not loving that. Yes, the blue is so pretty. I have never tried Tracy. I've never tried their products before. Has anybody else tried their foundation? Tracy was asking if their foundation is any good. 
I feel like the only time I've ever heard this brand really talked about was like with this collection and I think Carly Bible, she did a collab with them before. Yeah, this green is pretty subpar as well. Yeah, this, this neon is not it for me, sis. If you're looking for bright, vibrant colors, the Be Perfect Carnival 3, no question about it. Like, that looks pretty now, but it's just like, it's not, it's not what the pan makes the palette appear to be. Does that make sense? Like, it's not super vibrant, like it looks on here. It's... If anything, on the eyes, it's much more wearable, but if I were to pick between the two, I would just recommend this one because I'm really into, like, this color story I really like. I think it does have unique shades in there. I'm going to take the same brush, and I'm just going to try adding just a little bit more of the shade here on the other eye just to see if it makes a difference. I'm sure I've got enough on there now, but yeah, I definitely got enough on there now. This is the brush that I should have used, though. Oh, Heather! <laughs> <laughs> recovering from surgery and loving that I caught live. Well, thank you so much for the super chat. I hope you're healing okay. I'm glad to hear. I'm, I'm assuming surgery went well because you're here. Oh, thank you so much. I wanted Carly's lipstick, but they sold out. Heather loves, loves their lipstick. Heather Austin. I'm sh I, I say Heather, like I need to be mindful that not everybody knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> 101 watching and 64, or no, 101 watching and 64. I'm assuming that means thumbs ups. Guys, just hit the thumbs up or down. That's how we know what you guys like to see. Just help us out, damn it. I'm going to go back in with the 202. I just want to blend this crease with the shade right here. Yeah, this, I fucking love this packaging. Like, this packaging is 10 out of 10. Killed it on the packaging. I'm just trying to get those edges to... Just to blend a little bit more. I'm so unimpressed with that inner corner, though. So unimpressed. Compared to how I felt about, like, that navy shade and the teal shade, those were killing it. Those were killing it. Just do it! <laughs> I want more of that teal shade, because I feel like I just lost a little bit of it. This teal is so pretty. Oh, my God. My cat's going nuts. Oh, my God. Look how nice that is. All right. Let me go. I'm going to use that same brush, the 203. I'm going to take that on the lower lash line. This brush is so good. I have not showed this brush enough love. But if you have more dense eyeshadows, because it's like a dense blender. It's not as dense as like the 207, which everybody's really love. Wow, which everybody's really loving from my bundle. But it's got a little, this one has more fluff than the 207. Oh, the cat is jumping up on, hey, come here. Guys, look at, look at my little key cat. Oh, say hi, key cat. His name is Calvin. Just look at, he's like the first cat I've ever met that lets me hold him like a baby. Hey, say hi to everybody. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, go play. Oh my God. Yeah. First, his name was Sprinkles. And then we thought he was a girl at first. <laughs> so after we figured out he was a boy, Jocelyn, Jocelyn changed it to Sprinkles. So that's, the, or Jocelyn changed it to Calvin. That's his new name is Calvin. Okay. Let me get the show on the road. Holy Toledo. Guys, how do you guys deal with me? Honestly, I'm just taking a little bit of that teal shade and just running it right under. I'm so into that. I'm so into the neutral palette. This palette, I'm more into the packaging instead of the palette itself. So I need something. I need, I need more. I need more. I'm going to use that Fender Blender. I also really like this for the brow bone, because it comes to a nice point. Yes. That was the shade that I just used. I couldn't remember if I told you. I'm gonna take that same shade, just dig the Fender Blender in there, pop it on the inner corner, 
Yeah, I'm like, I'm looking at the inner, like the inner lid, and I'm like, I would have never guessed that I put that lime green on there. I'll be more curious to play with it more, but first impression of it, I'm just, I'm not impressed with that palette. I'm not impressed with the colorful one. I'm way more impressed with the neutral. Story of my life. I love neutral palettes. Hello, my name is Brittany, and I'm addicted to neutral basic bitch eyeshadow palettes. Everybody say hi to me. <laughs> I'm not getting enough whenever. I'm trying not to, like, overdo the inner corner highlight. I mean, can you ever? Can you ever overdo it? I think it's cute. I'm really, I'm really liking this minus that inner lid and I'm really enjoying this. Like I want to recreate this look using that 203 brush. That's what I want to do. So round the roundup first impression of this here. I really like this. The formula to me reminds me a lot of, I would say Natasha Denona or like ColourPop Super Shack, which I wasn't really a fan of. That's why I'm leaning more towards Natasha. I do find that I have to use more dense brushes. I have to finesse them just a little bit more. I really have to make sure like I smooth them out, but when they're smoothed out, they look beautiful. I think these do have like the teal shade, the purples in here, that navy. I think these four shades really make this palette stand out for me. And I'm really into that. And then this packaging, I'm so in love with this packaging. And then the fact that it's got like the lime green, it's just everything. This is so my vibe. So I'm really into this one. The smaller palette though, I'm like, this is a pass for me. I think they could have done without this shade because it really didn't do anything. This one here is on my inner lid on this side. And it's like, where, where are you? Where did you go? And that like this blue was nice, this purple was nice, but they're not as vibrant as they, like they're not this vibrant. They look like they're super vibrant and they're just not, but the packaging, packaging's 10 out of 10. They absolutely murdered, murdered it with the packaging on those. Let's move on. Oh my God, I forgot to use the fucking brush. <gasps> oh my God. Let me see what this brush looks like. Wow, that was, if that wasn't a fail, I don't know what is. You know what? Do you guys want, what, oh my God, we're already at 47 minutes. This is taking way too long. Just to give you guys an idea, this makes sense why this brush comes in here. This brush honestly reminds me quite a bit of the 203. And then you've got a fluffy end over here. Wow, that was such a fail. I can't believe I forgot. This reminds me of like the Sigma E40. This is like super stiff. I don't know if I would like this. Uh, Katie, yes, I did pick up the Ice Cream Dream palette. Yes, I did. My Kaleidos palette shipped today, too. I'm so excited. Yeah, I don't know. I was gonna, I was debating taking off this eye, but we're already at 47 minutes. So I'm like, I'll, I'll try this brush at a later date and I'll let you guys know. My impression of it, though, it's giving me, do I have it right here? This reminds me of the brush that came in the Urban Decay palette. It reminds me a lot of that because it has that more like fluffy end. I don't, I mean, I think it would work with that formula because it, it's like fluffy, but it's dense. And then this one here, it's fluffy, but it's also dense. It, it sounds like counterintuitive. Is, is that the right word? I don't know. I don't think that's the right word. It seems like it wouldn't work, but I think for the formula that they have, I cannot believe I forgot to use this fucking thing. I'm such a dumbass. Okay, so I'll use that at a later date. Sorry, guys, that was my epic fail. The beauty of live stream first impressions. <laughs> Let me try these eyeliners now. I can't, I'm like still, I'm like, I can't believe that. <laughs> Let's see, did I? No, I didn't. They didn't have the option to do express shipping for Kaleidos. So let's give you guys a visual of the black. I mean, she looks, she looks super black. Let's try this. We'll put, we'll put the black on the blue side. My favorite black liner currently is the Wayne Goss. Wayne Goss is everything. This applies so nicely in the waterline though. Very creamy. Applies really nicely. I'm into it. I just totally got that on my eyeball. I'm fucking it up. My eye's going to start watering. 
this one, this I would have to use long term. Like I would have to wear it all day to let you guys know my final thoughts. But if you're looking for like a creamy black liner, I mean, you guys just saw it apply. Um, I could. I feel like so many people got that ice cream palette. I think Lamlight actually sold out. Did they? Oh, I'm trying to get the white one off. All right, let's try the white. I mean, she looks pigmented. How much are these a piece? $18 a piece, I think. Hold on, let me double check. Long wear eye pencil. I'm clicking on it to see. Okay, so they're $18 a piece, not together. Let's go in. I hardly ever wear white liner. I always wear pastel liners. But wow, that was really, wow, that was really pigmented. I'm just lining the upper lid as well, just so we can. Does that like trip people out? Wow, I can't believe how bright and creamy that is. I like it too because it's like, it's white. But since I applied my shadows already, it's kind of like picking up the purple hue. So it almost looks like a pastel purple. I'm into that. I'm into that. So you'll see me definitely using these more on my channel. So first impression though, they're creamy. They apply. I just got a real nice look glimpse at my little friend. They're going to go right in my drawer because I'm into those. Okay, let's get into hourglass because I'm sure that's why everybody's here. Let's see. Newbie question. Is $18 a lot for a liner? I think it's it's in the mid range to high end range. I mean, you could definitely find liners at the drugstore that are uh, incredible. Like the Wayne Goss ones, they're $14. I would happily spend $14 on those because especially the browns, like I've never found a brown that's as good as Wayne Goss. And then his black is just like super black, super rich. It's creamy. Like I feel like black liners are a dime a dozen, but it's it's the colorful liners for me that are always tricky. Like, it's always tricky for me to find pastel liners. Like, I always have a hard time finding amazing ones. Let's see. <laughs> Bye, Kara. Thanks for being here. Urban Decay is actually 22. Yes. So, I feel like it's, it's in, like, the... I mean, drugstore is getting up there. I think it, it's in the middle between, like, drugstore and high end. It's right in the middle. I feel like, on average... They're like 20 bucks. So I don't think that's horrible, but that's just my, my that's just my humble opinion. Wayne Goss is incredibly high end overall though, for real, <laughs> for real Z's. Let's see, Makeup Revolution launched today, the Friends Collection, so disappointing. Yeah, I was just like, um, snooze fest. Fun fact, I, don't cancel me. I've never watched Friends. Like I've watched like episodes here and there, but I was never like a Friends bitch, you know? I was more like Sex in the City. That's what I want to watch. Okay, let's get into the biggest holiday disappointment for Britt Clark of 2020 already. <laughs> so I'm actually not going to open this because it's the same thing. It's the same thing as the original Edit Unlocked. And the reason that I bought this was because Hourglass lied to me. On, not to me. They... They commented on Instagram and somebody had asked if the shades were the same as the original edit unlocked. And they said, no, that they're all limited edition in this palette. So that makes me assume, maybe I read it wrong, but I don't think that I did. I assumed that the shades were different and they're not, they're the fucking same. So the shades, I'm only going to look at this one because I'm going to be doing a giveaway with this one in a future video. So stay tuned. This is going to be included in a giveaway. So it's not going to be like this just by itself. It's going to be in a future giveaway. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications because this is going in the giveaway box. So the shades that are actually in the mini palette, which I think the fact that they did a mini palette was genius to an extent. Let me get into the shades that are in the mini. So you've got this one here, the blush, the strobing highlighter the bronzer, and then the ambient powder over here. Those are the four shades that are in the quad. I wish that they did the quad last year instead of relaunching this one because they relaunched this in the ghost packaging, I'm pretty sure. I think this is the best palette that Hourglass has ever done. But since I already have this one, I have no use for the mini. I just don't. I bought it because I thought the shades were different. Like I'm... 
I'm an hourglass bitch. You guys know this if you've been watching my channel, but I'm still going to show you guys some of them. But I also did pick up the bigger palette as well. And I didn't pick up the bigger palette as um, I didn't pick up the bigger palette. I almost said as well. I didn't pick the bigger palette up last year because Hourglass needs to switch it up. They got to do something different. They killed it on the packaging. I love the packaging. It's similar to the Unlocked, except I like how this looks better. I think it just looks more like sculptured. It looks more like edgy, fancy. I really like the packaging. And it's a little bit more bulky than the Unlocked, if you're familiar with this. But this is what the bigger package looks like. Package. I'll get my shit together one day, maybe. This is what the bigger palette looks like. So you've got a bronzer, two blushes, two veil-esque powders, and then this, I think, I'm going to say three veil powders because they don't strike me as, like, highlighters. This one might be. I've, I've got to, like, touch that one. So let me grab the box really quick because let's see if the, the ingredients are not on the back of this one. You've got two finishing powder. Oh, that is a so this is a strobe powder. That's exciting. So you've got two finishing powders, dim light and diffuse light. If I'm remembering correctly, those are permanent shades. The strobe powder is glistening strobe light. The bronzer is natural bronze light, which is this one down here. The strobe blush is vibrant flush. This one here in the middle. And then the other one is the blush and mood exposure. I wanted this palette because I have been dying to get the full size of Mood Exposure forever. And I always go to buy it during this time of the year because it's like a very fall, winter appropriate shade for me. And as soon as I saw that that was in this palette, I'm like, okay, done deal. I want it. So I think if you have like a big hourglass collection, like I think I have a pretty solid hourglass collection, but they're still like, I don't have any of these shades in my collection. So for me, it's okay for me to buy something like this. I think this is going to be a palette that like really look into your collection to see if you have anything similar or if there's overlaps in shades or whatever the case is. But for me, this just totally fit right in my collection. So I'm happy to have this one. I'm so I wish so badly that this palette was different than the original unlock because I got this when it initially launched. Like, like I said, this is the best palette to me that Hourglass has ever done. I think it's the most universal that they've done as well. But, but if you're Christmas shopping, this is such a good gift item for a makeup lover. Excuse me. This cat's over here just living his best life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you have a makeup lover in your life or you just want to get somebody a really beautiful luxury item, this is incredible. Love the shades, all the shades in it. It looks like I haven't used it, but please believe these powders will last forever. They last forever. That's what I love about Hourglass. I will say I love mixing these two blushes together in this palette though. Like I, I still love this palette so much. How much was the mini? Yeah, I think it was like 58. I'm pretty sure. But like I said, stay tuned for a future giveaway on the mini because I have no use for it and I'm not going to open it just to use it for a video. <laughs> and then, you know, end up wasting it. I mean, I wouldn't waste it, but I think you guys know what I mean. So I'm going to show you how I would use this palette instead of the mini or do you guys want me to do like this palette on one side and then the mini shades on this side? I could do that. Let's do that. All right, let me dust off my brush really quick. I'm going to first go in with the bronzer. I think this bronzer will work really well for me. The only downfall with these palettes, Hourglass, can we get custom palettes yet? Just wondering. Can we get custom palettes? Don't mind. Don't mind that. That's going to be hella distracting but it's okay. So this is, what the hell shade was this? Natural Bronze Light. This looks a little bit, I wanna say it looks a little bit deeper compared to my Luminous Bronze Light. I think it's more neutral than Luminous Bronze Light. I think Luminous Bronze Light has a more orangey undertone to it. That's my favorite bronzer of all time from the get go. 
from the jump, that's always been my favorite bronzer. So I'm going to do this palette on the side of my face. Okay, I may need that many now. <laughs> guys, please remember, affiliate links are down below if you guys do decide to shop. I would say, though, honestly, this is like my honest opinion. Wait for Sephora VIB sale. Granted, the mini palette's still not at Sephora. The mini's not, but the bigger palette is still at Sephora. I, they're expensive. They're they're spency items. I I probably could see the mini selling out, but at the same time, I do feel like a lot of people have either this one or the ghost version of. I feel like a lot of people have this palette already, so maybe it won't. I'm kind of surprised that it didn't come to Sephora yet, though. I'm using the Refer 05 brush for the bronzer, and I like this brush because it fits in the pans without kind of getting all into the other ones, which I wouldn't mind if it did that. I'm gonna blend, I'm gonna blend these two together. So this one here is a strobing blush, if I remember correctly. Yes, strobe blush, and this is just like the regular ambient blush, which don't ever judge Hourglass, guys, buy swatches. If you go in store and swatch, you're gonna be like, what the hell? What the hell is everybody raving about these blushes for? It's when you put them on your face, Another fantastic opportunity to purchase this if you're doing your own wedding makeup. Like, these palettes are so pretty for wedding makeup. Like, those look so pretty together. I'm totally into that, especially with the purple eye. Yes, bitch. I really hope it does go. I'm sure. Oh, somebody just said. Somebody just said. I think they said the 20. Oh, mini on the 25th at Sephora. Yeah, because this came to Sephora as like a, a rouge exclusive first. I really like that bronzer shade on me though. I think it looks really nice. It's just a little bit more neutral tone than my Luminous Bronze Light in my opinion. So now I'm gonna take the BK Beauty 201. I've been loving this brush for a highlighter. I'm gonna go in this one here. This is the strobe highlighter. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, Hourglass is gonna give very very natural effects to the skin. The strobe highlighters do have a little bit more of like a glitter, a glitteriness to them. You can kind of see it. My light's kind of playing me a little bit, but you like, you get the point, right? It's just a more subtle, but it's got a little sparkle to it. She cute. She really cute. This, you can see the reflect right there, but the light, cause I have my ring light coming this way. You can always see highlighter better on the side of my face. It's beautiful though. Really, really beautiful. Let's dust that off. And then I'm going to take the BK Beauty. This is the two, or oh my God, 104. I'm just going to go between these two. This is how I like to use these like veil powders. I'll dust them off and then I'll just kind of dust them all over. It's almost like a, it's a veil powder. It just, I like to just dust it over everything because it gives like a smoothing effect but it also gives like a slight radiance. I shouldn't say smoothing effect. I think the Infinity Powder does a better job at that. These just give like that natural lit from within type of glow to the skin. Like this is truly the definition of like a bridal glow. Like it looks like nothing, but once it like sits on your skin and everything, it really just, it completes the look. It's so, so pretty. My trusty highlight brush, yes girl. Let's go to, we're going to go to the original unlocked, but I'm going to use the shades from the mini. Okay. Hope I'm not confusing anybody. I feel like I'm all over the place. So the first one is going to be the bronzer up here. I love this bronzer. I love the bronzer. I love all these tones. Like these tones are just mm, chef's kiss. This palette is just chef's kiss. I think this, this shade to me leans a little bit I think this shade's a little bit lighter than this one. I could be wrong though. They're pretty close, but I'm seeing a little bit more warmth. I'm seeing a little bit more red tone from this one over here. Not anything crazy, but just like a slight, a slight amount of warmth I'm seeing. She cute. I'm into it. Let's go with, I'm going to switch up the brush. I'm going to use the Refer 05. Again, I like, or 04, the other brush was the 05. I'm going to mix, or no, I'm going to use just this blush because the mini palette doesn't have. 
but normally I mix those two together. And I'll just pop this back here. I love, like this is one of my favorite blushes that Hourglass has ever done. I wanna try that bronzer too. Hourglass FOMO. Hourglass is so good guys. Like if you do not want to be tempted to buy Hourglass, unsubscribe right now. <laughs> Because I talk so highly of Hourglass products, it's not even funny. And I talk about them so frequently because they're truly unmatched, in, in my opinion. I don't think there's anything else on the market that is quite like Hourglass. The highlight in this palette, though, is more blinding than this one. This is going to be like the bigger sculpture palette. It's more like everyday, wearable, really natural. This is a metallic strobing powder. So this one's going to be beaming. Like this is gonna be a way more blinding highlight, which I love, I love. Man, the light is playing me so hard today because it does not look like that in person. What the fuck? Ah, let's see, no one does power, powder like Hourglass for real. Let's, hourglass seems to be great for all ages. Yes, definitely. I could definitely agree with that. I got my six pan sculpture palette this afternoon. I haven't opened it yet. What are you doing? Open your palette, damn it. Oh my God, I was like so excited as soon as I got this. I did forget to mention with the Il Maquillage collection, I got that so fast. Like I ordered it Wednesday and it was here Sunday. I was like, damn, okay, Il Maquillage. I'm using the shade right here. Just another Val, Val type of powder, just kind of swipe it over everything. Like I said, these powders look like they do nothing, but it's when you see it in person is when you're just like, oh, she glowing. This is fucking up the whole vibe. Fucking up the whole vibe on this side of the face, but it's okay. We're going to get past it. And then I'm going to spray with some more hourglass, my favorite. My favorite. This has quickly become my favorite setting spray. I use it all the damn time. And then it's just like, ooh. Ooh, that, you see that right there? That's just my texture on my skin, but she real cute. So over here, over here is the bigger palette. I love the fact too, I kind of wish that this had a little, this one, wow, everything's backwards. I wish that this had a little bit more pink versus the strobe, like the pink pigmentation versus the lighter pigmentation. I'm really happy with how the bronzer looks and how the blush looks. When you get your palettes though with Hourglass, anytime you see this like marble effect, they all look different, always, because they're not created the same way. So there's that. So on this side is the bigger sculpture palette, and then on this side here is going to be the mini. I just used what I had in this edit unlocked. I am so disappointed to say though that Hourglass did me dirty on Instagram, man. Somebody had commented that they were asking if the shades were the same and they responded, no, they weren't the same. And yes, they are the same. So if you've purchased the mini thinking it was different than the original unlocked, it's not different. I wanted to make sure I said that out loud so everybody hear it. <laughs> My friend got her palette today and both of them had shards of something in them. No! Oh my gosh. Thanks, girl. She said my face looks so smooth. It's 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 having a moment right now because I forgot to do my skincare the other night. So this is what happens. Like I got another like really deep pimple right here coming in. This is what happens. Like when I skip skincare, this is what happens. But Roundup, I'm really happy with both the Hourglass palette and this palette. That was probably so loud. I'm sorry, guys. This palette. These two were the winners for today. I also really did like the liners, but I'm like, I need to wear these all day. I need to see if they like transfer or anything like that. These two liners, the Il Maquillage ones. But overall, the biggest fail for me for today was one myself because I forgot to use the brush. But this palette, I don't think this palette's worth it for the, what was it, $38 price tag. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on this brush the more that I use it. But what I typically buy a brush like this. No, I just bought it because it came in the really cute packet. Like how cute is this? I love this. I think it's so cute. But if I were to recommend anything based off of a first impression, it would be this and the bigger sculpture palette. And I would still recommend the mini from Hourglass if you don't have the original unlocked. 
And that's my final thoughts on that. So do you guys have any questions before we pop off today? Let me know. I'm, I'm going to skip the picture for tonight because I'm like, I want to do a cohesive look with like, you know, for Instagram, I, I want to recreate this look. Maybe I'll recreate this look with this brush. Maybe we'll do that. I'm not sure what my next video will be. Do you guys want to see me do like a... I saw Teresa is dead posted hers today, like ranting about ugly eyeshadow palettes. Would you guys want to see me do that? I'm like, I really have to really think about the palettes that I thought were really bad. And while we have 157 people here, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. <laughs> we're almost at 10K. We're almost there. Share it with your friends. I just, I got things coming, guys, and I'm so excited about it. <laughs> Almost the 10K. I was literally just going to ask if I need to... Oh, circle. Okay. Let me read this again. I literally was just going to ask if I need to circle back for the four pan since I don't have the original. If you don't have the original, I would recommend the mini because I think the mini is a really great option for those. If you wanted the original, you missed out on it. If you still lust over it, you still want it. The mini is a great alternative for that because it is the same it's four of the same shades. Oh my God. Yes. Rant. <laughs> I mean, people love to see me rant. So I'm not surprised that you guys are like, wait, let's rant, please. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see. Can you put one of the tower? Oh, <laughs> Letitia. I was about to say, can you go watch my video that I dedicated to the tower 28 glosses? but I'll put it on for you. Let's let's do, what shade do I wanna do? I've been wearing cashew the most surprisingly, not pink. I feel like this will probably be the one that goes best, but what shade? Almond, cashew, oat, or coconut? If you guys didn't see my video on these, get your shit together. It's eight minutes long, I think. It's really short compared to this video that's over an hour. I just subscribe. I usually watch a bunch of videos before making that type of comment. <laughs> Hopefully you don't regret it. <laughs> P.S. If you have more than one Gmail account. Oh my God. <laughs> Danica. Ah, this was so fun. Way better than way better night than my day work. Thanks. Are, oh my God. I know. Right. Oh my, I love cashew cashew. I've been wearing so, so much. <laughs> All right, so we got light pink, coconut. I think oak oh, is the light pink. Let's do I don't think coconut really goes. That'll like totally screw me up. We'll put we'll put oat on and we'll see how it looks. I mean, I don't have lip liner on or anything. I feel like I need, I need like a whole lip situation for these to be like, yes, bitch. Like they're so cute, but I need, I need like a whole like lip liner, lipstick, and then top it with the gloss. They feel so nice though. They feel so nice. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought, your opinions, all the things. Follow me on Instagram. It's at underscore Britt Clark. If you haven't followed me yet. Everything that I talked about today is linked in the description box. If you just click where you see the disclaimer, the whole description box will appear and you'll see all the things that I've talked about. Make sure you guys go check out the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. I use this on my eyes today. I mean, these I can't wait to keep using. So other than that, stay tuned. Turn on your notifications for when I upload or go live again, which will probably be... We'll see if I get something tomorrow. I don't know. I have some things on their way to me. We'll see. Oh, Judy, it was it was that we were going to have this in a future giveaway. <laughs> that was what I was like. You guys don't want to miss this. In a future giveaway, the Hourglass Mini will be in there. Don't know when it's going to be yet. Maybe on my 10K celebration video. Just saying. Maybe. 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 Other than that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to tell you guys, but I don't think there is. Let me switch over my banner before I leave. And other than that, leave any other video requests down below in the comment section. Leave me some love down there anyways. Let me know you guys watched it, what you thought. Let me know. Let me know what other new products that you guys are interested in if you guys want to see videos from me. 
Let your girl know. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.